Good morning, foodies. This is Mala coming to you from Mala's Kitchen to yours. And today we're getting ready to make some buttermilk pancakes. Five ways, count it. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna make it plain buttermilk, chocolate. We're gonna have blueberries, strawberries and blackberries. And we're gonna finish up with some walnuts and butterscotch. So buttermilk pancakes, five ways. Okay, now as I mentioned, we're going to be making buttermilk pancake five ways. One's going to have walnuts chopped up with butterscotch, and I have a tablespoon of each in here. I have around about two tablespoons of blueberries, so that will be our second kind of buttermilk pancake. Our third time, we'll have blueberries, I'm sorry, not blueberries, blackberries and strawberries. Our fourth kind will have some chopped up chocolate. Now I have two tablespoons in here, but I'm just gonna be using one tablespoon and the other one is for garnishing. And of course, in this bowl over here, I've got some beautiful strawberries, blueberries, blackberries for garnishing a bit later. So let's go over the ingredients of what it takes to get this buttermilk pancake together. In this bowl, I've got two cups of all-purpose flour and I'm using Pillsbury. I've got three cups of buttermilk. I'm using a reduced fat version of the buttermilk because I couldn't find a full fat version. Uh, over here, I've got two large eggs, lightly beaten four tablespoons of melted unsalted butter, three tablespoons of light brown sugar, and I'm using the cane version. This is the Demerara sugar, by the way, two teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, a half of a teaspoon of salt, and I'm gonna eyeball it. I'm gonna add a couple, probably about a half of a teaspoon of really good vanilla extract, Madagascar. So I'm going to go ahead and start adding the dry ingredients together. Once again, I've got the two cups of flour, which I have in a sieve over here. I'm going to go ahead and add the two teaspoons of the baking powder to this. There we go. Go ahead and add the teaspoon of baking soda. There we go. Half a teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to add this Demerara sugar. To this, what I'm going to do is I am going to sift these ingredients together. Okay, so now that we have all our dry ingredients together, I'm just going to sift this through. And pretty much what I like is to make sure I have no lumps and bumps in my batter. So initially for the dry ingredients, we're going to get rid of all of those little lumps and bumps just to make the batter a bit more airy. You're gonna get rid of that. Next, I'm going to add our eggs. Gonna add the eggs. And of course, I'm not gonna mix this in one by one. I'm gonna mix them all together. Next, I'm gonna add the butter. All right, so take two, I had to go remelt that butter. Here it is. We're going to add it in here. And I'm gonna add, eyeball that uh, vanilla essence. There we go, for a teaspoon. And in goes our buttermilk. Here we go, I try to get all that goodness in there. Nice. Now we're gonna whisk this baby up together. There we go. Now, the idea is when you're doing this type of a batter, you don't want to overmix. And it's totally okay if you have small lumps in here. That's totally all right. Remember, this is homemade and that's what we want, right? We don't want to overmix and overbeat this because we want to keep some of that air in there. We just want to make sure we mix enough so that we have all these ingredients incorporated. 
and take a look at our batter. It's nicely incorporated, right? This is the consistency we want. It still has a little bit of some lumps in there, which are totally okay. And now we're gonna allow our batter to rest for about five minutes before we start to allow everything to bloom together and those flavors to bloom. And this way we get fluffy pancakes. Okay, so our pan is heating up. I'm gonna go ahead and add a nice piece of butter here. That's about a half of a tablespoon roundabout. I'm gonna let that melt up. And I went ahead and I poured some of our batter into my little nifty little dispenser here, which works wonders when you're doing pancakes. Allows me to distribute pretty nicely and clean. Nice and neat. So we've got our butter nice and melted up in here. Yep. So let's go ahead and use our little nifty dispenser. There we go. Yep. That's what we want. spread out nicely we're gonna let that cook for a little bit and develop all those beautiful bubbles check out those bubbles that are forming that's precisely what we want to see yep in about two seconds or so well a little more than two seconds or so we're going to flip this baby Okay, so we're at that time. We're going to go ahead and flip our beautiful pancake. There we go. Oh, that's a beautiful color. How gorgeous is this? Look, we're going to press down the edges ever so slightly just to make sure we're cooking nicely. There we go. Oh, boy, does that look good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. And it's time to take this puppy off. Yep, look like on the bottom, nice. Don't wanna overcook them, get this one out. We're gonna get a nice piece of butter on that. Get that all melted in. There we go. And get ready to get started on our next one. I'll put the heat down just a little bit on that, yep. There we go, nice and melty, melty. That's what we like. Look at that gorgeous brown butter. Mm-hmm. Turn that down a bit more and let's get ready. Oh yeah, that's a little bit of a bigger one and that's totally fine, I'm gonna let that cook. And we just fit this big guy. Take a look at that, ooh, it's puffing up nicely. Gorgeous, take a look at that. Oh gorgeous pancake. Oh, let that baby cook. And we're gonna get ready to take that off and add some butter. Alrighty, next up is our second kind of pancake in which we're going to add strawberries and blackberries to it. We just completed, we just finished up our regular buttermilk pancake. So let's just get some butter in here, melt this up nicely. Our butter is nicely melted up. Let's get some batter in there. There we go. Yeah, baby, that looks beautiful. To this, let's see what we can do here. Some strawberries. Try to make it look a little pretty. There we go. Let's get some more blackberries. And we've got some more blackberries to add in there. And here's another one. And I think we'll finish with maybe just one more nestled in there. Check out those bubbles on that pancake. That's precisely where we want it. And we're going to go ahead and give this baby a little flip. Go. Yep, we gotta be nice and gentle. Whoops, we lost one die. But get under there. There we go. And we're gonna let that cook nicely. 
and or strawberry in blackberry pancake is just about to come off right now. Let's get started on our blueberry pancake next. Let's add some butter. Get that nicely melted up. Yep, that's what we want. Now, let's get some batter in there. Yeah, baby, that's what we want, the nice size. Now, we're gonna add some blueberries. Let's try to prettify that a bit. had a brain wave. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to add some chopped walnuts to this one. And let's see how this works. This is pretty much breakfast as dessert. And there we go. We're going to let that baby cook for a while. check out our blueberry pancake. We're gonna take this baby off now with the chopped walnuts. Alrighty, next up is our butterscotch and walnut pancake. Let's get some batter in there. More, there we go. Our butterscotch and walnuts. Pretty do we look. I'm gonna let this baby cook now for a little while. And it's time to flip this baby. There we go. Nice and gentle. How beautiful and golden does that look? And let's flip our pancakes with our butterscotch and walnuts. Let's see what this baby looks like. Ooh, nice. And we're getting ready for our fan final pancake, which will be our chocolate. So let's get ahead and get some batter in here. There we go, gorgeous. And we're going to add some chocolate. And this is some Hershey's chocolate that I chopped up before. Now, clearly you can use chocolate chips if you want to, dark chocolate, whatever stokes your pleasure, but I just decided on using top chocolate instead. And we got some sexy bubbles forming here on this here chocolate pancake. Yeah, baby, let's be very gentle and flip our sexy pancake. Yep, there we go. Get that nice there. And I've just went ahead and flipped our sexy chocolate pancake. I can't wait to dig in on this. Alrighty, so our buttermilk pancakes are finished. Let's get this show on the road. Gonna add a little bit of dusting of some powdered sugar. Gonna add some syrup. Gotta have syrup. Gotta have some nice amount of syrup. There we go. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. We're gonna finish up with our trusty whipping. There you go. How beautiful is that? Finish it with another dusting. And voila, buttermilk pancakes a la mala style. One last thing, just to nice it up a bit. We've got some chocolate. Let's do some freshly grated chocolate, shaved chocolate on that. There we go. How beautiful is that look? Yep. Hey, why not? We can add that little piece right there too. Buttermilk pancakes a la mala style. Okay, let's 
let's cut into these babies. Ooh, that looks really fluffy. Look at that. Beautiful. What a thing of beauty. Buttermilk pancakes. Woohoo. All right, so we're getting ready to plate up this tray of deliciousness here. And my choice of pancake today that I'm going to devour on is the blackberry and strawberry pancake. In here, I've got a bowl of macerated uh, strawberries, which I sliced up. And um, I've also sprinkled with a bit of uh, crystallized demerara brown sugar, cane sugar. And of course, I've got some trusty old maple syrup over here. So let's go ahead and give this a nice little dusting of some good old powdered sugar. Nothing quite like that. Mm -hmm. We're going to add a little bit of that maple syrup to that. Yep, baby. That's what we want. Now I'm going to finish with my favorite. And that is some whipped cream. I'm gonna finish up also with a nice little dusting of some walnuts, which I had chopped up earlier. And of course, chocolate never hurts anybody. So let's just shave a little bit of that. Remember, this is breakfast for dessert. It certainly is. Oh, look at that snow. It looks amazing. And hey, why not? You can stick a little bit of that Hershey in there and how gorgeous does that baby look, huh? Let's get a nice little tight shot of this baby. How beautiful does this look? Oh, yummy. Yummy, 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 yummy in my tummy. Gorgeous, wow. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I can't wait to dig in and eat and there we go we've got some maple syrup we've got some berries with some crystallized sugar and star of the show we have our blackberry strawberry and walnut pancake we've got it topped with some powdered sugar some good old maple syrup some whipped cream some chopped walnuts shaved chocolate and garnish with a piece of Hershey's. Beautiful. And here we have our blueberry pancake. How beautiful does she look? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's get in. Oh yeah, baby. Look at that. Gorgeous. And here we have our pancake that we made with butterscotch and walnuts and we garnished this with a little bit of strawberry, some walnuts and some butterscotch. Take a look at that. Yeah, baby. How beautiful do we look? Gorgeous. And here is our final pancake or chocolate chip pancake not chocolate chip but some chopped Hershey's chocolate take a look oh yeah baby gorgeous and we dusted that with a bit of powdered sugar and of course we're garnishing with a piece of Hershey and some fresh berries there we go oh gorgeous and there you have it pancakes by Mala five ways this is Mala coming to you from Mala's Kitchen to yours. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, share, share. Happy cooking, y'all.